So today we are back with another tactical recreation from the always amazing GYRFM. Today we are looking at his YJB or U Jack tactic that is it's, it's, it's something that the Swansea fans have really taken on board. It's a, it was initially a derogatory nickname, but it's now sort of seen favorably. There's a couple of other football teams that this happens with as well, but this is a Swansea recreation. We've tested this with a couple of different teams as well. So you know the score with these videos. We will run through how we've tested it, who we've tested it with, and then we will break down this ultimate tactic for a Swansea recreation. Obviously, the good old GYRFM, his links will be down in the description and please do go and show him some love. But let's get into these tactical recreations and how we've used it and how we've tested it. So just to give you guys a little bit of context, this is the shape. It is a three-back formation. We do have wing backs, two central midfielders, two attacking midfielders, and obviously that one striker that we do have. This is the test that we ran with Barcelona. I'm not going to show you the roles and stuff too uh, too early, but as you can see, 34 goals for Ferran Torres, a good goal return for Pedri and Memphis Depay, and Sufati, and even Gerard Piquet getting in on the goals with this bad boy. If we go into the competitions, you can see they are La Liga victors. If you are watching my network save, with uh, Murph FM. Murph, you could probably take some notes here. Not only did they win the league, they got to the semi-finals of the Champions League. They were knocked out by Bayern Munich, which I don't actually think is too, too bad. And then they got into the final of the uh, Copa del Rey and the Super Cup, winning them both, which is, again, a very, very good return for Barcelona. We've done a couple of tests in England as well. So let's head over to the first one of those. So we ran this test with Manchester City as well. Now, um, I know what you guys are saying. We always run a test with a high profile team just to spot weaknesses with this tactic. And it looks like there aren't that many. It, it won the league with Manchester City, 100 points in the league. So Centurions, it's won the Champions League, it's won the Emirates FA Cup, it's won the Carabao Cup. Runners up in the Community Shield, but that one doesn't count as much. Um, in the Carabao Cup, it managed to win in uh, the final against Manchester United, winning that one 3-2 in the Emirates FA Cup final absolutely dominated but it was against Middlesbrough so it won that one 4-0 then in the Champions League getting the job done in extra time against Liverpool if we expand this game out you can kind of see how this shape lines up and the how how things are working Fernandinho forced to play centre-back here Mo Salah missing a penalty in the 120th minute uh, to, to potentially take it two penalties himself but Salah missed the penalty um, looking like a good formation um, I think City would actually probably struggle with this I feel like you need a striker like an actual striker in this formation formation maybe we should try this again with Haaland who knows but yeah in the Premier League 100 points for them only the two defeats away at Villa and away at Manchester United four draws and 32 uh, victories throughout the course of the season but it doesn't necessarily only work with elite teams I know I've only shown you Barcelona and I've only shown you Manchester City let's have a look and see how this gets on in League One so guys, as I said, we were going to try this in League One. We tried it with Wigan, who again, another team as Centurions, 102 points for Wigan, sees them champions of League One. They will be playing uh, a championship football next season in this particular simulation. 30 victories for them, 12 draws, four losses. Uh, that plus 64 goal difference is absolutely huge as well. Uh, and they also picked up the Papa John's Trophy, uh, beating Ipswich in the final here. Looking very good, very nice. I've tried to expand this though and there we go Callum Lang with the two goals in extra time it's, it's, it's a very nice shape this I feel like it creates an awful lot of opportunities and even then the heat map again looking pretty good but dominant in that final restricting it switch to five shots on target with an xg of 0 0.66 so doing very well there so a league and cup double in Skybet League One but this wouldn't be a Swansea recreation without looking at it at the Swans so let's head over to the Liberty so here it is then, guys. This is the Swansea recreation. We had to do it with Swansea, didn't we? And it won the league with Swansea. And they are not, I can assure you, predicted to come anywhere near the top of the Sky Bet Championship. But they have won it. 103 points for the Swans. 31 victories, 10 draws, 5 losses. That positive 49 goal difference and 103 points. Uh, scoring 100 points in the championship to get yourself promoted is pretty darn good. Beating Bournemouth, forcing Fulham, Sheffield United, Hull and Coventry as a surprise package into the championship playoffs. In terms of some of the other cup competitions, not out in the third round of the Carabao Cup by Leicester City and in the third round of the Emirates FA Cup by AFC Bournemouth. But in the championship, the main goal is getting yourselves promoted. Um, so let's go and break down this tactic. Here is the GYRFM YJB. 
be tactic. If we quick pick without restriction the best 11, so you can see the names that fit into these positions, you can kind of see some familiar names here if you're a Swansea fan. Um, if you are on PC or Mac, you can go into the description. There is a download link to FM Scout where you can go and pick up this tactic and put it into your game straight away. No questions asked. You get everything here, all the tactics, all the instructions and stuff like that. You will be ready to go. If you are on Xbox or on something different, follow along with the steps that I'm about to go through now so that you get the tactic exactly as GYRFM intended. So first and foremost, we have a sweeper keeper on attack in goal, which is Mr. Andrew Fisher. No additional instructions on him. But if you wanted to add the additional instructions, guys, when they do come up, hit this edit tab here and then just select them. I'll show you on someone who actually does have these. So we do have two wide center backs here. Uh, on either side and they have the exact same tactical instructions guys so in this we've got ryan uh, bennett and ben cabango they have the uh, stay wider as a wide center back that comes with it anyway uh, but then you add the additional instructions of cross less often cross from byline dribble less and shoot less now you add these as i said by going onto the edit menu and making sure that you tick you know dribble less shoot less cross from byline cross less often etc etc you know which ones are the additional instructions guys because they come with the white cog and the red circle. Now, both wide centre backs have the exact same instructions. And then in the middle of them is uh, Finley Burns with a ball playing defender on defend with close down less and tackle harder as his instructions. Then we have the full backs on both sides, the wing backs on attack. Um, they have the, uh, on the right hand side, you have the additional instruction of take more risks. And on the right hand side, it's a inverted wing back, guys, on attack duty with no additional instructions on them. Moving into the midfield too, we have a deep line playmaker on support duty with close down more and tackle harder. Then we have Matt Grimes as the Mazala with close down more and tackle harder as his instructions as well. Then we have an advanced midfielder or an attacking midfielder, should I say, with the additional instructions of stay wider and tackle harder. Then we have a shadow striker on attack duty with stay wider and tackle harder. Then the main man up top, we have a advanced forward saying take fewer risks dribble less and tackle harder in terms of the mentality and stuff like that it is a positive mentality this tactic it is trying to get you goals up top we have a, a custom tactical style but you guys if you are creating this yourself just put it in this clean slate and then just follow the steps as i said positive attacking mentality a positive mentality should i say fairly wide attacking width we are playing out of defense with slightly shorter passing and a higher tempo everything else is completely uh vacant guys we are counter pressing when possession has been lost no additional instruction when possession has been won we are distributing the ball to center backs and we are taking our short kicks out of possession this is how things are looking we are using the offside trap we have the higher line of engagement a higher defensive line standard defensive width triggering the press more often and preventing that short goalkeeper distribution and this is the YJB tactic recreation the Swansea masterpiece from the Swan himself GYRFM as I said his links will be down in the description so please do go and check out Gareth and as I said if you are also down there please do go check out the link on FM Scout download the tactic and get it in yourself if you don't like the look of this though but you are into FM22 tactics check out the playlist that's going to come up here which is all the other videos and collaborations that I have done with the amazing GYRFM and maybe you can find something in there that it tickles your fancy instead but until next time guys take care and i'll see you soon